guys, welcome back to my video. My name is Molly and this is my best friend Alexis and she works at Hollister. If you haven't seen the first video about what the interview process, the questions and how to answer them are, you can go check that out. I'll put that up here and down below. This is about her first week at Hollister. She's gonna be telling me all about that. I have some questions I'm gonna ask her. For those of you, you're about to get a job, you wanna get a job, you wanna know what it's gonna be like working there, she works there, so you're gonna get all from her and not only that but her first day was on black friday so she really got the full experience so let's just start off with that how was your first day like especially because it was on black friday okay so basically in our state on black friday like we had like a capacity that like you can only have like 40 people in the store so basically all i did that day because i was like new like it was my first day all i did was i held like it's called like a, a honeywell that's what they call it it's basically like just like a phone like ipod thing and it has like the online orders and like the capacity so basically i just took count of how many people were in the store i would just if two people left then you would minus two people from the store if three people came in then you would add three people to the capacity and so on and then you would also like you would open the door for them and say like welcome in you could say how many people you were letting in so like you'd be like oh i can have three people come in and then i would say like also there's some hand sanitizer there if you want to use some because you know covid and everything you could say how are you or whatever and then when people were leaving say like have a good day or like did you find everything okay you know stuff like that yeah and then you closed correct so what was closing like at hollister so basically you have to count like the money in the cash register obviously but like most of the time the managers will do that and then you take out the trash you have to make sure everything in the store looks good make sure everything's folded you know the jean walls look good or make sure that you have you've gotten all the online orders ready that are for the next day if they're able to be filled at that point and lock the doors and everything when you're closing. Yeah. and i realized i skipped this but what is orientation like so before you even start your first day you have to do orientation so basically the orientation is really easy like you still want to dress nice like dress as if you're actually gonna be working that day so basically i just wore an outfit as if i was gonna be working that day and they're gonna tell you a little bit more about the dress code they're gonna get you into the system you're gonna watch a video and like in the back room and it's gonna show you how like see if people are stealing and like how to watch people so that you make sure they aren't stealing and if someone does steal like what you do and basically just how to fold certain things and just talking about like working there in general and then basically you're gonna also read on like the registers how different things are gonna work there how much you're gonna get paid dress code discounts what you can do with your discount what you can't do with your discount what's okay in the store what's not okay it's just basically going to give you a bunch of lessons that you have to fi like figure out and like read while you're doing your orientation yeah and we kind of covered this in the other video but for the dress code you just don't want to wear anything with other brands logos you can wear hollister clothes but if you don't wear hollister clothes or anything with like a brand you can wear something like this because it doesn't have a brand on it and you never want to wear american eagle jeans that's what alexis mm -hmm. said you can wear like sweatpants or like hoodies but make sure that like at least half of your outfit is like presentable like you don't want to be wearing like a big hoodie and like sweatpants hollister sweatpants and like a cute crop top like is acceptable so and then what is it what do you do there when you work there like what are your duties what you do is basically they're gonna give you like different tasks and then when you finish it they're gonna give you something else and then you usually will learn register like your first week of being there and the register is really easy you're just gonna have to you know ring them up and like desensor everything because if you don't desensor everything then it's gonna seem like someone's stealing so you want to make sure you desensor everything and you also want to make sure that they have a cub Kelly account which is like how you earn points and if they don't have it then you want to try to get them to sign up for it because you know they usually get like 40% off their purchase I'm most likely sure is what it is and then like as points build up over time you can get like five dollars off and like different discounts that not everyone can get because of like they don't have enough points or they don't have an account or whatever you just want to make sure that everything is like folded nicely and folded the way that it's supposed to be folded because there is a way that Hollister folds everything and also for the jean wall you want to make sure that everything is folded nicely like how it's supposed to be yet again and you want to make sure that no tags are showing and yeah I'm pretty sure that's about it you just basically have to refold everything and if you think it looks good and it's not or well if you think it looks good 
it's most likely not because you have to just keep redoing it and redoing it if you think oh that room's done like no you need to redo it at least like three times <laughs> <laughs> three times the charm so you talked about what you do do there what should you be doing when you're working like other than going on your phone so basically you don't want to be like talking to people your whole shift because i could assume that every manager would not like that but i know my manager does not want to see you just standing around and talking to people when you should be doing something or even if you think you shouldn't be doing anything there's most likely something that you should be doing like if you're on register for example you should like and no one's no one's there no one's waiting in line to be you know ringed or whatever you should be folding stuff in another room or be folding stuff that's in front of you or rearranging stuff that's in front of you not just standing around not going on your phone because i know you already said that but that's a big thing you should not go on your phone at any job really there's yeah. always something to do at every job mm -hmm. whether you think you're done or not like even at duncan you know you think you're all i finished everything there's no customers no there's something to do just always find something to do never take initiative never be someone who goes on their phone or just stands around and talks it's a job you're getting paid so Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, you can talk maybe once in a while, but don't make that like your number one thing that you're doing. Cause like, if you're just talking to people, then like, it's just gonna look like you're really distracted. And it's kind of like distracting to customers too. Especially, you should not talk about like certain things in front of customers because that's like, some things are just too personal to be talking about in front of customers. Like, even if you think it's not personal, like it probably is. Yeah, or in general, like let's say, like obviously all clothing stores just gonna be clothes you don't like there. But if you're talking to your friend who works there you're like oh that's ugly i don't know why they would put that out mm -hmm. and then someone actually was about to buy it and they're like oh wait they yeah, you also you should make sure that you're telling people like if someone asks you like, oh, does this look good on me? You should tell them that it does, even if you don't think it does. <laughs> like that sounds kind of bad, but like that's just what you're supposed to do. And like if you see someone that's trying to like, you know, they can't seem to find their size or whatever, like ask them like, oh, do you need help finding a certain size? Oh, can I look in the back for you? Like or suggest something else. Like if they don't have their size in the certain jeans that they want, be like, oh, well, I really like these jeans like these jeans make my legs look good or these jeans are cute i like these jeans on me or whatever to make them want to buy it right what do you think is the most like stressful or like hardest thing about working at hollister um probably the most stressful thing is when people will when i finish like refolding literally everything and then someone comes and like destroys it and people are going to do that so you just have to get used to it but it's definitely annoying like when you first start working there because you're just like why <laughs> right yeah exactly and then what are like the benefits like the discounts you get from working at hollister so basically you get 50 percent off and uh, you can't just be like using it all the time because obviously you're going to be taking advantage of it if you use it all the time i've definitely used it probably like four times which is not too much but it's not like i don't know i could have used it less in the time that i worked there but if uh if the manager see you like using it too much you'll probably get your, your privileges taken away or you'll just you know your job will get taken away i mean usually it won't go that far but that could happen if you're using it so much and also if you get caught using it with like your friends like if your friends use your discount like you can get fired for that and yeah yeah that makes sense all right well thank you guys so much for watching my video and if you do have any any questions at all about working at hollister what it's like working there let them know in the comments down below i'll answer all the questions you guys have and since i won't know the answers personally because i work there i'll just you know call her up because we be on facetime 25 8 not even 24 no. 7 25 8 like literally <laughs> so you know what i mean just let me know in the comments down below anyway please go like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out what the interview process is like the questions and the answers because that may actually really help you <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh.